Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm, I'm going to show you another model in the UC Workstation range of products from Yealink. It's the WH67. It's a decked wireless convertible headset. So here we are looking at the WH67 base station. Um, I know what you're thinking. It looks strikingly like the WH66 that I showed you in a previous video. The big difference is instead of a, a tall thin pole where the headset hangs for charging, this has actually just got a short stubby kind of thing with the same charging pins in. But this is where you actually pop the headset itself. Now this is the headset itself. As you can see, it's very, very small, very thin, and it's incredibly light. Everything else about the WH67 is exactly the same. It's got the same four inch touchscreen. It's got the same menu, so I'm not gonna show you any of that. It's got the same two USB ports, microphone down here, and big speaker. It's also got the dock on the side for the wireless charger for your phone. And of course the headphone jack for the optional uh, busy light that you can attach to it. The, the only real difference is the headset itself. Now I've got it configured in um, a way that I actually quite like wearing it with a rubber grommet. There's, there's several rubber grommets that actually come with the model. Uh, so you can choose one that fits your ear. I've also got the ear loop that comes around the outside. I feel that is actually a lot more secure. Um, it's easy to change these. You just kind of twist and pull and you can add more accessories as you need them. If you want to have it over your head or over the back of your head, Yealink has got you covered. All of the different convertible options come in the box. This one, I'm just gonna pop it over my ear and stick it in my ear so you can see that I'm wearing it. So wearing style, it's very, very light. Um, if you attend webinars or meetings all day, every day, and you don't want your ears to get hot like you would with a stereo headset, then these are the these are the headset for you. It's so light, I can barely feel that I'm wearing it, even though I've got it clasped over my ear and also that grommet in the ear. They're very loud. For, I mean, not overly loud by any stretch, but they're very good for actually having that conversation with whoever you're talking to. So in terms of buttons, let's just go through the buttons themselves. So hopefully you can see this. I've zoomed in a little bit. You've got an answer end button right in the middle there. Right at the back, you've got a mute button, that red button just there. So obviously volume you can change on the base itself, but they've even thought of that. So for volume, they've got you covered as well. On the side, you'll see these directional arrows and dotted line. That's actually a touch interface. So you can actually adjust the volume up and down just by sliding your finger over the top. Very, very gratifying. It's not particularly tactile, but you know, once you get used to it, it actually works very, very well. For everything else, you would still do in the base station itself. Again, for those who haven't seen the WH66 video, I urge you to go and have a watch, but I'm just gonna take you on a quick tour. Obviously at the top, you've got the time and date. You've got that indication that the headset is actually attached, the uh, charge level and Bluetooth indicator. You got the Teams button. Again, that's that multi-function Teams button that is contextual. So again, if you want to answer a call, if you've got an incoming call, you press the Teams button and, and bang, it's, it's answered. If you've got a meeting pop up on the screen that somebody else has joined or somebody's in the lobby, press the Teams button and boom, you're at the, at the actual uh, pre-join screen and ready to go. Dial pad and of course, uh, the devices that are connected. Just like the WH66, it's a decked base station and decked to the headset, but it's also got two channel Bluetooth, meaning you can connect to multiple Bluetooth devices, but have an open connect to two devices at a time. So for instance, if you wanted to connect to the headset itself um, that connects to the, to the desktop client, you can also use the same headphones to connect to maybe a desk phone that has Bluetooth, maybe one of the Yealink models as well. The MP58 is a, is a prime example. And of course, that second Bluetooth channel you can connect to your mobile phone. So you can use the same headset at your desk for connecting to your mobile, your desk phone, and your, your PC soft phone. Um, I mean, they call it the UC workstation. Is it really a workstation? Well, I would say that it's a workstation. It's not a workstation. Um, subtle difference there. It means that you can connect to multiple devices and do multiple things all from the same device, the same dial pad and the same interface. So again, go into that menu and go into settings, into basic settings. And you've got the, you know, the choice of language. You can turn Bluetooth on or off. Make sure you've got your, um, your mode switched, switched to the way you like it, either dark or light. 
just other things like the um, the backlight screensaver and those kind of things. And then under advanced settings, you've got some additional stuff to set your range, whether you want voice announcements on or off. The mute reminder, again, I don't really have the mute reminder on because it just says muted every five seconds. Not particularly useful when you want to be on mute in a long call. And then you get distracted by that reminder. It's also got the ability to answer a call as soon as it's undocked. So the, the second you undock it and go to put it on your ear, it answers the call and switches the speakerphone mode on. And then when you put the headset on, it has a sensor that switches it from speakerphone to headset mode. Really, really slick the way it works. I've been using the UH-66 as my daily driver for several months now, and every once in a while I switch to the WH-67, particularly on longer calls. I might actually switch to using it full time in the summer. As I said, these leatherette headphones have a, have a habit of making your ears quite warm after long periods of time. With these, they're much smaller and lighter. I feel a lot more free, and you know, I don't think my ears are going to have that same problem as before. These were launched only a couple of weeks ago by Yealink and at the same time certified by Microsoft to use with Teams. There's several models in the range. The WH-66 is the top-end stereo version. They've also got a monaural version of the same kind of 60, uh, 66 model. They've also got these, the 67, which you can wear in any style you really want. And then it goes further down the range where you've got models that don't include the screen itself, but still have the same kind of base station, the same uh, charging points for either the, um, the the mono or stereo headphones or even this, this um, on-ear convertible model. So in terms of wearing style and actual style itself, they've definitely got you covered in that respect. There's also one more model that I'm going to show you in the UC workstation range that actually straddles the two. It's, it's not a headset, it is a phone, but it's not an IP phone. It's the MP50 and I'll show you in the next video. Once again, I hope this has been useful. If you can, take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, in the next edition of Ditch the Box. Thanks very much. Bye for now.